Hey guys, my name is Oscar Mikey, and yesterday we got a trailer for season one of Battlefield 2042, and this is supposed to be the start of the live service kind of portion of the game. So with season one, we're getting a new map, uh, a couple of new vehicles, a new specialist, and some new weapons. In the trailer, we can see a little bit of all this stuff. We get a pretty good look at the helicopters. They look kind of like stealth helicopters. They might have some stealth related uh, weapons or countermeasures that you can unlock with them. They look pretty cool. The map itself is called Exposure. It's in the Canadian mountains, probably the Rockies or something like that. Just at first glance, it looks like a pretty cool map. It looks pretty interesting. It's kind of giving me Caspian Border vibes, which I like. I think that's a good thing. Caspian Border is a freaking awesome map. But in comparison to Caspian Border, this map looks way more vertical. The whole, the whole thing takes place on kind of like a cliff face. And there are capture points on top and below on, on the ground below. There's a cave or tunnel system running underground, and so I think a lot of the combat is going to be people just running through these tunnels and fighting over the capture points in the middle underground, maybe. But this is going to be an interesting map for another reason. This is going to be DICE's first map since the launch of 2042. And it's going to be the first map after they made that video telling the community that they've learned from their mistakes when it comes to map design and how they're revamping their level design kind of philosophy and revising all the upcoming maps. So I suspect that this map is going to have some of those revisions that they were talking about in the last video that they posted in the, in the developer uh, news page on their website. If Exposure is a good map, if it plays well and it's fun, then it's a good sign for 2042 and all the upcoming maps. This trailer did seem a little bit different to me. It seemed like it seemed like kind of a throwback to old Battlefield trailers and and kind of the old Battlefield vibe. I know the game isn't going to change massively with one content update, and especially not with just one map and a handful of vehicles and weapons, but it's probably going to be a good start if it's in if they're going in the right direction with it. There's a new specialist. Her name is Liz, and she looks like an anti-vehicle specialist. She's got this new rocket launcher that's coming to the game, and it looks like it has a boost feature, and it looks like it's TV guided as well, so you can view it through a camera after you fire. And when you get your target lined up, you can hit a button and it just zooms the rocket right towards your target. There's a crossbow coming in season one, which it seems like every FPS these days has to have a crossbow. Looks pretty cool. It looks like you can get different ammo types for it. Explosive bolts, normal bolts, that kind of thing. There's a pretty cool clip at the end where somebody playing as McKay uses the grappling hook to attach to a jet and then uses the explosive crossbow bolts to take down the jet. It's pretty badass. I also noticed they showed off the AS Val a lot in this gameplay. Now they did say in their latest developer video that they're going to be bringing some of the legacy weapons from Portal over to All Out Warfare, which is really great news. I was kind of bummed out that I didn't get to see like the M16A3 and some other kind of older, more contemporary weapons in, in All Out Warfare. I mean, we got like future versions of a lot of classic weapons, but not the classic weapons themselves. No like classic AKs or M4s or anything like that. It's something I really would have liked to see. But again, they did mention in their previous dev blog video that they are going to bring some of those weapons to All Out Warfare. And it looks like the, the AS Val is going to be kicking things off in this first drop of content for Season 1. Which is great, I love the AS Val. You can use it in Portal at the moment, but it's not currently in All Out Warfare. Overall, I think this trailer was pretty cool. It felt like a little bit of a throwback, a little more kind of a traditional Battlefield trailer, which is a good thing in my opinion. The map looks pretty cool. I'm excited to see how it's going to play with their new level design philosophy that they're going forward with. Vehicles look pretty cool, stealth choppers with rocket pods. I'm a little underwhelmed by the new specialist, but it is what it is. Be sure to let me know what you guys think about the trailer in the comments below. And if you're even still playing Battlefield, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next video.